What? <laughs> um, hope you didn't see down my pants. <laughs> nah, it just started. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Why are we in the camper? It's been raining and raining and raining. Yeah. Um... And we already drank our coffee. Yeah. Way. Uh, so I slept way better last episode. You guys saw that my tooth was not doing well. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys want to see the gap? No, there's not one. No gap. They saved my tooth. So we went in with the... Expectations? Of just yanking the tooth. But he was like, dude, that's you have a big smile and you're going to see it. I think we should try and save the tooth. Yeah, he said, I know you're a big celeb on the internet. He didn't know that. <laughs> he knew, he just didn't want to tell me. Oh. Yeah. Um, or didn't say that. But, yeah, so started the process of a root canal. They went in, they took the nerve out. So what they did, they gave me sunglasses. It was really cool. Danielle took some video. I'm sure it'll be in a video. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the lady, oh. she said... Um, that uh, it's only so she can't see me cry is why they gave me sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, it was it was funny. It was like a, I felt like I was in a simulation. It was very, it was a funny experience. It's very interesting, to say the least. Yeah. The whole thing, and then this is the first time I've ever gone to a dentist that wasn't my uncle. Uh, mm -hmm. My entire life, um, we were very fortunate to have an uncle that was a dentist growing up. So mm -hmm. the dentist was never scary. It was never anything. It was just. All right, let's go to the uncle's place and get stuff done. And we knew all the ladies that worked there. I mean, there was the same people that worked there forever. And That's awesome. um, yeah, it just worked out great. And uh, so we went to this place, and I, I mean, I wasn't worried or nothing. I've been to the dentist a hundred times. He was times. nervous. No, you kept saying that I was I, nervous. I said, it's okay. Do you need me to hold your hand? I cried twice, and that was and it. And I said, I just kept being like, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even anyway. Um, but got in there and then... Um, I mean, Honestly, it was like... For me, it was the freshly... You see, the fresh mustache, the haircut, and then the shades. Yeah. It was a look. You guys yeah. are... You, you're you going to be excited to see. It was very like Dale Earnhardt vibes. They're looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> but... um, but without the shades. Uh oh. It was, you'll see in yeah. the video. I had to but, um, capture it. So we were there, and uh, they put some gel on there to kind of uh, numb it a little bit. And then uh, they're like, all right, we're going to do the shot, which I've done that a hundred times going to the dentist. And from what I don't remember is. I've always gotten the shots to numb my teeth when they're doing stuff, but then when they done the inside, it felt like it just like sw was swollen. Mm -hmm. It felt huge on the inside. I was like, I don't think right. <laughs> um, but it was all fine. And then got in there and um, young dentist, young oh. dude. Mm -hmm. He was early twenties or something. He was young. The young guy said, like, "What's up, bro?" Yeah, what's up, bro? And shook my hand and everything, and I'm like, <laughs> "Where are we?" <laughs> This is not how any experience at the dentist has ever gone before. Um, but uh, did that and got Very in nice. there. Oh, it yeah. Was, yeah, all around is great. We got it for free. Um, we left. They didn't even make us pay. And then they called later. Oh, did you pay? <laughs> <laughs> like, Y'all just told us to come back later. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know. Uh, but, uh, but went in there and they drilled out the middle of it. And he's like, I'm going to pull out the root. That's the problem. That's what's going to cause all the pain so he got in there and he dug is it 19 degrees no um, that's been wrong for a while uh, pulled out the nerve of it and he's like here look at this and he showed and it was the like the size of like if i pulled out a hair on the side of my face right here it like was little... itty bitty and i said that is what caused all the pain he said yeah you wouldn't even believe yeah. how much pain comes from this itty bitty little nerve um, so fly up in here. Um, yeah, I got that done, and then they put in a temporary fill in there, and so um, and you got some antibiotics yeah. and um, ibuprofen. some ibuprofen. Uh, so we're a lot better. Yeah, but 
we went in expecting to pay about three hundred dollars to get the tooth pulled. Going to pay two grand to get over it, two grand to get it drilled out and redone, but it saves a tooth. And uh, he said, other than they said, you can have a gap for three hundred fifty bucks. But if you come back and you want to get a new tooth put in, and he's like, you're going to spend more than that. You're going to spend mm -hmm. way more than two grand getting a new thing. There's different ways you can do it. There's all these things. He's like, honestly, y'all do what y'all want, but this would be my suggestion. And so, luckily, it's also split over like three months um, of doing different things. It's not. Yeah, that's what he said. He that, said we could do well, it that's that what I'm way. saying. Yeah, that it could be. Yeah, but they said we're I, not doing it three months. I guess. Yeah, but we're doing it over pretty much like a month. -ish. Yeah, he said I would recommend we're doing it over two weeks. No, we're doing the next time he's doing it all. Uh, -uh. he said that he has to put a temporary in there, mm. and then they mold it, and then they go and make the mold and stuff. Then we go back and we have to oh. put that in. Um, it'll be like a cap, like an yeah. actual crown that goes over it. So mm -hmm. next time they'll get a mold of what we need and then they'll make the mold and then we'll go back and they'll put it in yeah he said i wouldn't recommend going that long with no but you can yeah uh because what i was saying was because what's in there right now is just temporary very very temporary you're not even supposed to chew anything on that side and if it comes out it's just wide open to infection they cleaned it out did all that so um he did say this is what i'm very happy about so as you guys know my uncle was my dentist and uh, he did a, he probably did twenty thousand dollars worth of work on me uh, before coming to Oklahoma. He was gonna sell his business. He'd been doing it for my whole life, and he's like, "I'm about to sell my business. Come in and get everything done before you leave." Jason had cavities, and yeah, that's how many he had twenty thousand dollars worth of cavities. No, <laughs> he did a lot of stuff though. But it was probably if this was two grand to do this. I mean, he legit probably did like $20,000 worth of stuff in my mouth. So he did like half of your teeth? Oh, he did so much. You, you don't even have a clue. Uh, he did a lot. I was there every two weeks for like two months, mm -hmm. three months, something like that. I went yeah. a lot. Um, sometimes every week. Um, did a whole bunch and then um, uh, got all taken care of. And they said when they did the x-ray stuff, they're like, all your teeth look amazing. And he's like, it just looks like that uh, crown failed and it's because i mm -hmm. messed it up i i over obsessed over Ooh. it and picking it and i think i pulled it out so definitely lesson learned on my end um i have a weird thing when it comes to like obsessing over things like uh i don't you know you guys you guys don't know that by now yeah what huh i'm obsessed with you oh yeah, yeah. um but i have a weird thing with my toes that in my shoes i kind of just go like this with my and i can't stop if i start He's got problems. Yeah, if I start flossing my teeth, I just I just keep going and going and going. I have these weird things. My eyes when it blinks, like I don't know. I have these weird. You things. and Jared are both crazy about crazy about flossing. You see, we grew up with the dentist, <laughs> but like, but when we all lived together, you would just see tooth like the flossing tooth. Not from me. Everywhere, that was from Jared. everywhere. <laughs> it's like so. One of the boys has been here. Yeah, um, but. uh... So, got all that done, and then we'll have to go back on the 12th, and then they'll do more of it, and then we'll go back again after that. I don't know when, but... So, thank you, everybody, for following along on the tooth journey. Oh, I feel so much better. Yeah, I'm glad we're finally getting this taken care of. We instantly went to Buffalo Wild Wings after to eat. <laughs> and you... That was Half my face was kind of not working. I kept being like, are you sure? And you're like, yeah, but then once we sat down, you started feeling it. Yeah, it was just getting real, like, it was like all the pressure and everything, the numbness was going away. But, I mean, I was able to eat um, uh, enough, and then I had a straw to drink and stuff, and it was fine. And then went and picked up the like medicine. flashbacks to our first date, but just reversed. Yeah. I, two, three, four, I declare thumb more. One, two, three, four. I just want thumb more, baby. You always let her win. Mm -mm. But, but our first date, mm -hmm. you were slobbering all over me. I had Bell's palsy. It was like lingering. Bell's palsy wasn't in like the middle of it. Um, and 
No. It was just one side of my face wouldn't work. It wasn't droopy or nothing. It was just, I was trying to do that. Yeah. <laughs> just one wouldn't work, so... But it was working. Yeah, it was working. We made out. No, you were too nervous to kiss me. Only the first day. Yeah. Um, I wasn't so nervous. I was being respectful. Um, you can twist it to whatever way you want, but I know you're nervous. <laughs> because I remember your face walking up. I was nervous to meet you because I was yeah. like, I feel like I'm getting catfished. <laughs> And then, then we went and had a good time. I yeah. only grinded gears with you once that day, baby. Yeah, then we get in the Jeep, and he, like, skipped a thing. What is it called? I grinded a gear. And I laughed at him. Is it my Jeep standard? Yeah. But I warned you ahead of time. You said, I'm not good at this. No, I said, <laughs> I may end up messing up a little bit. That wasn't long after I got the Jeep. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, the only downside right now of my tooth is all I taste is dental work. The feeling stuff, it's just temporary, so it's going to, like, slowly come off. It's not mm -hmm. supposed to be there forever. They said, take the le keep it in there the least amount. Come back as soon as you can mm -hmm. uh, to get it done. And so um, all I taste is just dental work. And I hope it's not like that for 12 days or however long it is yeah. till then but um that's the worst yeah but i would take the taste over the filling mm -hmm. um yeah any day so it's supposed to just rain 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 it rained all night last night um normally rufio wakes up and has to go outside and all that but there was no way um again for people who don't watch every single video roof stays in the camper he's at the night, old boy um because Sometimes the little boys have they rumpus, wanna, they rumpus play. time. Yeah. yeah. Even though we try to tell them it's not night, rumpus time is over. Mm -hmm. That's a quote from uh, Step Brothers. I know. I know. Um, <laughs> uh, so, Roof sleeps in here. Yeah. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen today, weather wise. Um, we are about to go out there. We still got feed the animals and whatnot. Yeah. Looks like it's check on them windy all. right now. Check them on them all. It was pretty crazy storms last night. There yeah. ended up being some tornadoes. Yeah, thank you for those who reached out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, I'd woken up and was watching some Travis Meyer. Or he wasn't live, but it was another person. I but felt like I woke up. And I was watching it. No, well, maybe. But you were like looking out the window or at the door or something. Mm -hmm. But... I don't know. If, I don't know if that's just because you showed me video and I'm thinking that, mm. but it got it got pretty wild. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go check on everybody. Yeah, and, and then from what I saw, I don't know. I just like walked by real quick and looked out the window. It looked like the pond came up, which means it has to rain a lot for that pond to come up because water doesn't really. It's on the top of a hill. Yeah. It doesn't have a lot of water going there. So depending also. How crazy the ground is and all that stuff. We might try to just get a little ditch going where we That's see a lot saying. of water going. Yeah. But we have to do it from the road mm. up. So it's a lot of work. Um, and then depends on how just nasty it is. It might be too slick of mud. It, you mm. know, just cause more of a problem than anything. But And hopefully our foundation didn't wash away. Because it's, it's up. And yeah. then all the dirt, when it goes off, all the dirt. And then also our fence line... Um, cause it's our slab and our fence are just right on a slope. So, no, I don't know. The slope will be fine. You just don't want to leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Burping. Okay. Burping. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of where we're at. We haven't done a coffee crockers in the camper in a mm -hmm. long time. Very long <coughs> time. But yeah, it's getting back to the time where we will be doing it in here. I hope not. I don't like doing coffee crockers in here. It's not like hope not or not that we do. No. Unless, yeah, because... Do it once, the day before. Oh. I say once it gets cold, we don't go outside and do it. Do it the day before. Um, but, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Anywho, um, it's supposed to rain legit all day. Uh, I, I don't know. It says 100% when I looked. Uh, but, it could be sprinkles. It could be downpouring. It could be both. But... 
as much as it sucks not being able to get anything done or anything, I hope it rains all day and just fills up everybody's ponds around here. I mean, it's bad. Mm -hmm. Like, people were mowing their ponds not yeah. far from here. And uh, I hope it fills everything up because everyone around here does cattle and has animals. And anyone that has animals and they rely on these huge ponds to have water for their animals. I mean, it's a scary time when luckily for us we only have so much and then we can you know we could put a we have uh water troughs and stuff but people that have hundreds of cows you can't do that mm -hmm. and so um they just rely on the pond yeah it, it's pretty scary to know that a lot of people around here uh rely on that for a living and um i couldn't even imagine it being in november and we're in a drought like that's mm -hmm. what's wild um it's been so hot and dry that it's now November, and it's finally starting to cool off in rain. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll take what we can get, and I think all week it's supposed to be like this. So I don't know what our videos have in store, but we'll we'll keep it spicy. We'll keep it entertaining. Mm -hmm. We'll keep you all updated on everything. And um, uh, I don't know. It gives us time to uh, rust up because hopefully by the time this rain's gone, we have all our material ready to go. Um, hopefully it'll dry up enough that we can get material delivered in the property because mm -hmm. it's going to be so wet and nasty. Yeah. Um, it's just starting to become that time of year where it's just a little different. But also, another positive with the rain makes where the ground's soft, so we can knock in some T-posts. Yeah, you don't want it too soft, uh, but you do want that top layer nice and soft so you can pop them in there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we uh, definitely... We're getting fencing done, getting materials here. Hopefully, the pond's filling up. Hopefully, everything like that. And, uh, yeah, it's that time of year. We're going to make the best of it, do what we can. And thank goodness my tooth don't hurt no more. Um, I hope it holds out until we can get it actually capped and finished yeah. and, and all that. But uh, um, I'm pretty sure I said it yesterday in the video. But it felt really, really nice to wake up in the morning and, like, to legit wake up. And then it was like... Uh, they opened at 8, and then she called. I didn't know what time it was. Mm -hmm. And then you called instantly, and then we had already got an appointment and went. Uh, there was a massive chance we were going to have to wait till Monday, and that would have sucked. Yeah. So very, very thankful that uh, you called, and they had availability, and we went and got it done. Right. And People thankful we had weekends. the money to oh. do it, too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if not, you would just been having a... Oh, yeah. I, I, that's At the end of the day, that's okay, too. A gap? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, that's what I told Danielle. I said, um, thankfully, because the tooth pain is terrible, thankfully there is a cheap option for people that don't have insurance, don't have anything. If it's just straight pay, $300 and you get your tooth pulled and you're not in pain no more. I know $300 is still a lot of money. And then it's not only the pain, but the health risks of oh, yeah, having it's that infected, in there. And yeah. yeah. It's, it's right there. It goes to your brain. Or you can also have heart valve yeah. infection. So I'm grateful that it wasn't super expensive because I know how much it hurt. And if anyone else is going through it, maybe you're still going through it, don't know how much it's going to cost. Um, go to like a normal chain dentistry. It doesn't have mm -hmm. to be a super private place. Just go to one that's going to be cheapest and uh, they'll pull it out for about 300 bucks. So mm -hmm. that's truly, at the end of the day, well worth every penny. Even if that's the last $300 you have, I promise it's worth it. It Oh, um yeah. So yeah, it made it made me feel good knowing that it wasn't insanely expensive. I'm glad it wasn't too grand just to pull a tooth. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that um, for a couple hundred bucks you can get it pulled. So if any of y'all are dealing with it, because I mean tooth pain is the worst, um, go get it pulled. Uh, and then I'm sure they'll work with you as well on payments that mm -hmm. you could probably do it over a couple of months and stuff. Um, that was it was unbearable. Um, mm -hmm. I'm very good with pain tolerance but that was unbearable it was insane so mm -hmm. if any of y'all are dealing with it call your local place and see if they can't work out a deal it's 100 percent worth it probably be a couple hundred bucks so all right i don't know what's gonna happen we're gonna go out there and check on everybody probably film give you guys an update and stuff and then um yeah i don't know we'll see what mm -hmm. happens so appreciate you um you want to hit that end button there all right guys Bye.